All right, this is it. E King Fight News. I'm about to give you guys a fucking classic. Here we go. This is the Duck List. Top 10 most ducked fighters. Top 10 most ducked fighters. I'm going to start right now. This is off the top right now, but I'm going to give it to you. The top 10 most ducked fighters 2016. This is dated August 3rd. Let's get it in. This one, because my number 10 most duck fighter is Bernard Hawkins. And I'm putting him on this list mainly because I, I needed a, a credible number 10. You could probably switch him out with uh, honorable mention to uh, Demetrius Andrade. He's being ducked by Canel Alvarez right now. Uh, Alvarez could have fought Demetrius Andrade. I don't know why he didn't. You know, <laughs> he wanted to fight the, the whatever, the Paul Smiths. Uh, estranged brother, <laughs> man, whatever, Liam Smith, Canelo's fighting Liam Smith, he's probably going to knock him out, and he's, he's ducking guys like Demetrius Andrade, he's ducking guys, other guys on this list, um, so uh, let's move on, I put Bernard Hawkins on here because he's being ducked by Adonis Stevenson, he's been ducking him for a while, they could have made that fight. Uh, Don Stevenson is a pretty big name. Uh, I can't put Jean Pascal if they fought twice. Lucian Butte, maybe he's been ducking Bernard Hawkins. They could have made that fight. Uh, but I don't really include Lucian Butte because uh, I, I know Hawkins, he never called him out or anything like that. Uh, I, know, I know Bernard Hawkins tried to fight Arthur Abraham. That shit didn't happen yet. Abraham ducking him. Uh, and, and I'm just going to throw in a, a, a tidbit of history here. I think Roy Jones ducked them for a, such a long time up until they finally made that rematch. They could have made that shit earlier. Felix Trinidad ducked a rematch. Although, you know, after watching that fight, <laughs> you know, I think that was pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> Who else ducked Bernard Hawkins? So that's why he's number 10. Moving on. Uh, number nine, most duck fighters, James DeGale. That's right, I put James DeGale on there. Right now, he's be he was ducked uh by Carl Frotch to do that fight at all. Carl Frotch did not want to do that fight. In fact, that was I think a, a fight a lot of people were clamoring for up until Frotch retired. James Dale is being ducked by Gennady Golovkin. I'm putting him on there. Gennady Golovkin wants no parts of James DeGale. James DeGale being ducked by George Groves. George Groves wants no parts of a rematch. Um, so those are three pretty big-time fighters right there. And I think James DeGale deserves to be a lot higher on this list, but I got him at number nine. Number eight. Number eight, Timothy the Desert Storm Bradley. That's right. Maybe, maybe I could have swapped these two. Uh... But Timothy Bradley has been ducked by. Um, he was ducked by Marquez after he beat Pacquiao. Marquez did not want no parts of. Uh, he he was ducked by Marquez for a pretty long time, up until up until he fought Ruslan Provodnikov. Let's be real. Let's be absolutely real. It was not until the Ruslan Provodnikov fight that. Marquez finally decided to step in the ring with Timothy Bradley. And fucking, you know it's fucking true. Okay? So, moving on. He's, Amir Khan has been ducking. I don't care. Amir Khan's been ducking Tim Bradley for a long fucking time. Kel Brook ducked Tim Bradley, but he ducked that fight. Could have fought Tim Bradley. Uh, who else ducked Tim Bradley? Who else ducked Tim Bradley? Well, apparently... Uh, they tried to make a Miguel Cotto fight. I'm not, I don't know if I want to put Miguel Cotto on the list like that. They could have made a Miguel Cotto fight. Uh, who else ducked Tim Bradley? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I don't want to put Mayweather up there, but Mayweather could have picked Tim Bradley as an opponent. I don't think anyone would have complained about that fight. I think that would be a very interesting fight, but ultimately I do believe Floyd Mayweather would have outboxed him, knowing what I know now, seeing 
Tim Bradley's uh, shortcomings uh, against Manny Pacquiao. I think I think Floyd would would have beat him. Um, who else ducked Tim Bradley? Man, Tim Bradley, man, Danny Garcia could have fought Tim Bradley. I don't see why. I don't see why that hasn't happened. Hopefully, it's upcoming. Uh, you know, Tim Bradley's been through pretty much everyone on the top rank stable. Fought Pacquiao, fought Marquez, fought Rios. Didn't fight Alvarado, but fucking Alvarado's retarded right now. He's fucking, he might as well be retired. Uh, fought Jesse Vargas. Who else is on the top rank stable for Tim Bradley to fight? <laughs> he ran out of people to fight with. Before that, he fought Devin Alexander. He fought uh, the Argentinian guy. He fought, uh, uh, fuck. Well, he fought Nate Campbell back in the day at 140. Man, Tim Bradley's been through a lot of fighters. Uh, but you know what? He makes a list. I got I got to put him in there at number eight. Moving on, Terrence Bud Crawford right now being ducked by Manny Pacquiao. I'm putting it out there, and if you don't believe me, just talk to fucking Freddie Roach. <laughs> he'll tell you. He'll tell you we're ducking him. He'll, flat out, he'll tell you, just in a different way. But he'll tell you, Terrence Crawford, we don't want that fight. So what the fuck does that mean? Uh, Terrence Crawford, also. Who else he being ducked by? Uh, I, I think Manny Pacquiao is a big enough name right now to just have him on the list just for being ducked by Manny Pacquiao. So Terrence Crawford makes a list if Manny Pacquiao continues to, you know, I, I'll, I'll take him off the list and I'll throw someone else in if Manny Pacquiao decides to fight him and I'll publicly apologize for that. But right now he's Pacquiao's ducking. Gennady. Gennady. Gennady Dayanovich, Triple G, Golovkin. All right. Golovkin is being ducked right now by Canel Alvarez. No doubt about it. I'll give him 100%. No doubt about it. He's also being ducked by uh, Daniel Jacobs. Don't want to fight him. Hosan, Billy Hosan does not want to fight Gennady Golovkin. He's being ducked by Gennady Golovkin. That, that's right, Billy Hosan is, uh, who else being done? Pretty much everyone at middleweight except for, uh, Erslandi Lara. Who, who else wants to fight Golovkin? Well, I, I, okay, I think that those are three, three, three big names. You know, two middleweight title holders out there. Billy Hosan is, um, it's, uh, Daniel Jacobs, who's the title holder. And fucking Canelo Alvarez, who's, who's trying to trying to take Liam Smith's title, so fuck. That's a that's a tough spot to be in. Uh, Gennady Golovkin being ducked by three champions in his division. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's ranked number one. Uh, moving on. Andre Andre S O G Ward. What is this number four? I think it's number four. Let's do a recap. Bernard Hopkins at number ten. James DeGale number nine. Tim Bradley number eight. Terrence Crawford number seven. Gennady Golovkin number six. Andre Ward number five. Holy fuck! Actually, no, it's not Andre Ward. It's fucking Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman's number five right now. He's being ducked by Manny Pacquiao. There's been no mention. Of Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacquiao. He was also ducked by Pauli Malignaggi. That's right. Pauli Malignaggi ducked Keith Thurman when he was a prospect. Could have made that fight. It didn't happen. Keith Thurman also ducked by Kell Brook. Keith Thurman's been begging to go over to the UK to fight Kell Brook. He's been calling for that fight. Fight didn't happen. Kell Brook ducked it. Uh, Keith Thurman's being ducked by who uh, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather could have fought Keith Thurman. Could have fought him. Could have fought him. You know what Floyd said? You know, Keith Thurman, you got to fight my undercard. You got to fight Errol Spence Jr. my undercard. That's who you should fight. <laughs> Yo, I can't, I can't, I can't even say Floyd, but, uh, shit, man. Keith Thurman, you know, he could, he could have, he, 
He was he was in the race for a Mayweather fight, but it didn't happen. He had a lackluster performance against uh, Colazzo, to Floyd's credit. I'll, I'll give him that. It was a lackluster performance. But, still, those are three pretty big fucking names right there. Manny Pacquiao, Kell Brook, Pauli Malignaggi. So I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just throwing out three. Okay, number four, Andre S.O.G. Ward, currently being ducked by Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin ducked Andre Ward several times. Andre Ward's made offers to fight. Uh, his presented offers to fight Gennady Golovkin, and they've been repeatedly ignored or denied. You know, you can't deny that. Andre Ward has made offers. To Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin came back with 164 or no fight. So who the fuck is ducking? I don't know. Andre Ward makes number four. He, he was also ducked by Carl Crotch in a rematch. He was also ducked by Mikel Kessler. Mikel Kessler did not want any parts of Andre Ward at all. He left the fight alone. He didn't want to go for a rematch there. And, and, of course, he also complained about elbows and whatnot. You know, bullshit excuses backed by no actions. So, those are three pretty big guys out, out there right now. Um, who else ducked Andre Ward? Uh, I'm going to put, I, 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 you know, the Lucian Butte, that's a big question. That there's a lot of back and forth there. Uh, who else ducked Andre Ward? Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. ducked Andre Ward. Kelly Pavlik ducked the Andre Ward fight. So it's five people right there. Let's move on. Oh shit. No, no, no. Andre Ward is ahead of Keith Thurman. Moving on. Eris Landy Lara. Eris Landy Lara was ducked by Canelo Alvarez. He's, Canelo's ducking a rematch. He wants no parts. Of a, of a Lara rematch. Eris Landy Lara has been ducked by Gennady Golovkin. Those are two of the biggest names in boxing right now. So those are two huge names. Um, Eris Landy Lara is being ducked by a lot of people. A lot of people don't even want to fight this guy. <laughs> he's been stuck at, at junior middleweight and he should really move up and take on some big names. But right now, I don't know. I guess he could be lower on this list. I think I would rank Andre Ward and Keith Thurman ahead of him. But moving on. Are we at number one? Oh, no, no. Number two duck fighter is... Yo, are you serious? Yo, man. Number two duck fighter is... Going to be Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. is my number two duck fighter. Duck by Keith. Keith Thurman ducked the fight. I'm going to put him out there. A lot of people ducking Errol Spence Jr. right now. Kel Brook ducked Errol Spence Jr. Um, Could have made that fight. Who else is ducking Errol? A lot of people are welterweight. I don't know if Sean Porter is ducking the fight. Adrian Bronner, I think, is ducking this fight. Adrian Bronner could have fought. You know, he's right up his fucking alley. Uh, a lot of people ducking uh, uh, Errol Spence, man. A lot of people ducking Errol Spence. So I'm going to put him out there as my number two and my number one. My number one, y'all. Y'all know who it is. It's the Jackal. It's, it's the guy no one wants to fight. Lee Selby doesn't want to fight him. Colt Frampton wants no parts of Guillermo Rigg. No parts. Leo Santa Cruz wanted no parts of Guillermo Guillermo Abner Mars wanted no parts of Guillermo Rigg. Now, who else? Who else? Scott Quick wanted no parts of Guillermo Rigg. Now, who, who else wanted no parts of Guillermo Oh, man. This guy's been ducked by everyone under the fucking sun right now. Who who didn't want to rematch with Guillermo Rigg? Now, you know, Donaire. Duck the shit out of the game on Rigandau rematch. So I gotta put I gotta put Rigandau. I gotta put Johnny Gonz. Uh, Johnny, I I was gonna say Johnny Gonzalez, but uh, he he could have fucked Guillermo. Johnny Gonzalez could have fucked up Guillermo for real. Could have happened. It didn't happen though. Didn't happen. 
Guillermo Rigondeau is, is my number one duck fighter. That's the duck list. You can't fight me. 2016 duck list. Top 10 most duck fighters. Number one, Guillermo Rigondeau. That's it, guys. That's it. E King Fight News. Saying it is what it is, guys. Peace out.